Hey guys, what's up? So today's today. We're at Edinburgh bound. So currently waiting for my friend who's always late, pretty standard for him. But um, it's going to be an interesting trip, lots to see and do. This is the first time I'm taking a 350 on a trip like this. Now my friend who's got exactly the same car as me, obviously coming along, he's going to be driving his, I'll be driving mine, probably gathered that already. We're going to brim the fuel tanks and reset the tripping pieces at the garage. Now we're filling them up with Tesco 99 Momentum. 99 octane. I don't put anything else in or shell V power sometimes. It's going to be interesting to see who has the best overall MPG, which is the purpose of this particular challenge, which I am quietly confident I will win. Lending to my driving style, which is a little bit more gentle than Dan's, um, he's a little bit more full send kind of guy all the time. Yeah, just fucking send it. I'm more of a half send, but I'll send it when I need to. So it's going to be interesting to see what the difference will be in MPG and it's quite a, a fair test because same cars we've checked our tyres checked the air pressures are right and it's just going to be down to driving style obviously following each other I know we're going to come across a lot of roadworks along the way which is pretty standard in the UK also how the 350 is on a long trip about 300 miles roughly from where I am here in North Wales to be stopping along the way a few times and then I'm gonna see how I feel at the end of it. So, here we go. You know, Dan's fashionably late as always, so standard. Uh, we said we set off at eight o'clock and it's like now, it's like 10 past eight. What's going on? Right, I thought I'd try and make a little video for David uh, to compliment his channel and his video. So, as you point out, we're both on the same car, uh, mine's the better colour, well maybe not the best colour, but better than silver, don't tell them that though. Um, yeah, maybe we both enjoy the same car, we have different uh, personalities about it. David is very elegant, he's flows, he's nice, fire fit. A couple of challenges coming up, I'm sure he's already told you. Um, he's gonna beat me in the MPG challenge just because you know. Actually I do love the colour of this car. Mixed man crap to be fair. Morning hon! How are you Mr. David? Are you ready? I am are you? Well, I was wrong. 88 quid. Dan, for some reason, got 65. I'm on 88. How's that work? We have the same amount of fuel in. Something really peculiar has just happened. Dan, who's behind me, we've just both filled the cars up. I got a full tank, 90 quid, basically. Dan only got 65 in. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't fill his car up. It wouldn't let him. It kept on cutting out. So we're not too sure what the reason is. So we've shook this car to see if a potential air pockets have been stuck in the tank. And see if it's freed up so he's going to try again uh, sorry my camera angles are terrible here I'm going to try again to see if we can uh, get more fuel in because he's only got three quarters of a tank he'd have to stop the fuel on the way up so let's see how this one turns out what is going on? Oh, I guess. Man, you're not going to get any more I have no idea what's going on <laughs> Well, come on, pound 95. That is leg one done. I've got 504 range in my tank and I'm averaging 39.3. So, how about you? I've uh, not checked my MPG, but <laughs> my, uh, my range went from 350 in, in junction 
to 420. Oh, absolute win. <laughs> yeah. Okay, according to the computer, I have 425 miles left range um, and I'm averaging 38.4 to the gallon. However, I, I am below three quarters of a tank. I have about 360 miles left in my range. I've burned 36.2 MPG. Um, I think the fuel gauge is about, yeah, just over half, but more like just over. Yeah. Interesting. We're at our last station, which is in last service station, which is in Southwaite, near Carlisle, which is near the Scottish border. So we haven't got long to go. I say not long to go, probably about two hours. Um, Dan is definitely lower on fuel than me. I'm winning the challenge of best MPG by two mile. I don't know what Dan's doing at the moment, but we're going to get underway. So a couple of hours to Edinburgh. Okay, so we've arrived at our destination. As you've seen, the drive on the Edinburgh Road was sick. That was one of the best roads I've ever drove. I am dead on half a tank. I've averaged 37.8. It's come down a bit after that little play on the Edinburgh Road. <laughs> Couldn't help that. I have range-wise 293 mile. Not bad. What about you? <laughs> My fuel gauge is like under half now. Uh, I've got 205 <laughs> miles range <laughs> and the MPG has dropped to 36.1 Oh, I took, I took this round! We are in the city of Edinburgh Lovely little apartment this Let's go on a quick tour Get over there, look <laughs> <laughs> Bathroom, bedroom, done There we are Now, it's a lovely little place um, Right in the high street Sick drive up. Probably the best 200 miles I've ever done in a car, to be fair. But uh, I'm just going to get unpacked, get sorted out, and then make a plan. Right, we're in the city centre of Edinburgh. We stuck to the speed limits, we did not make noise, we were not antisocial. <laughs> we're just literally waiting for three minutes to come past because it's then it's free parking here. So we're being that tight over three pounds. Is it three pounds? Oh, then 50 pence. <laughs> From what we've seen at the city centre, this place is gorgeous. So we're going to go for a walk around now, grab some food because Dan wants food. But the cars were impeccable. Even on cobblestones, the cars were fantastic. They really weren't, they were dreadful. Rational, like the fascist. <laughs> <laughs> no, so was mine, it was awful. It was all over the place. Just can't put me foot, could, no power at all. <laughs> so, day two of our trip. 
we're on we're in an area called Queensferry, which is just on the outskirts of Edinburgh. Right behind me, you can see one of three bridges. The other ones are just right there. What we're trying to do, we're trying to get a nice picture of the cars with the bridges or something like that in the background. So we've come down here to see if we can find an area, but we can't really find anywhere up to now. So we're going to keep exploring try and get some cool images and some footage but in the meantime as well we're just enjoying the, the roads really because there's some lovely roads it really is i think i can say it up to now um this scotland has the best roads in the uk for driving and we've only scratched the surface we're not even out of the city Right, day three, and we're just, we've left Edinburgh, we're in a fuel station just outside. We've just done a calculation on how much fuel we've used. So I've just put in 46 pounds, on the way up here I put in 88 pounds. My MPG, overall, we'll figure that out, is 33, which makes Dan over here, up to now, winning. <laughs> By how much? A whole 1.3 MPG better. <laughs> Love <Loving> it. <laughs> I've got crap tyres. No, I have actually good tyres, but my tyres are worse on MPG. I have a low profile and a wider tread. 255 width. So we're putting it down to tyres. Um, my tyres aren't as fuel efficient as Dan's by the looks of it. However, it is not over. We're still in Scotland. I can claw this back. I'm gonna be using slip streams and everything, trying to get the fuel consumption up. Well, I don't know what I'm gonna do here, but I'll try. What? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. Look at him, he's so smug. Well, I'm David. Mm, look at my muscles. I get shit MPG. <laughs> <laughs> So we've just done a quick fluid check, um, mine is okay, I topped it up a week ago with a litre, down to a little bit low so about 200 mils, fine. As you have seen from one of our previous videos. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, it looks it's better, it's on fire now. Just can't see it because it's clean oil. Just done a fluid check on the cars, um, oil's all good. Scenery here, as you can see, is incredible. It really is. And this road, what we've just been on, it's butter smooth. Oh, I wish the speed limits didn't exist. But we're at our last services in Scotland before we get underway again. Next stop will be somewhere in England, so cars are all good to go. So, with Dan still winning the MPG challenge, it's time to claw back some major points. We're on the A74, which is between um, Glasgow and Carlisle, which is obviously still in Scotland. And I have a little bit of a play on that road, so that's not going to do my MPG any good. I'm still above full as it stands. You? Oh, I've got more fuel than Dan. As we filled up, he was head. He was winning for 1.2 actually. 
So I've reset the trip computers now and we're going to get underway. It's about an hour and 15 minutes to our next stop where we're going to grab some food. Um, and we'll see who is in the lead there. I've really got to claw this back. Punch-wise, because I can't let Dan win and you'll never hear the end of it. But, but, are we even near Carlisle? We've passed Carlisle. We are back in England. So, check in with the figures. MPG wise, that was a game of cat and mouse all the way that to be fair. That was just the most boring race in history. An MPG race in a 350. What is that about? 38.3. 37.5. It was those sends that's done it for you. You sent it about three times. Yeah, when I pulled in front of Dan, I pulled in front of Dan and I knocked it into neutral. That's why it's so <laughs> And then he sent about 30 seconds later. Tactical. Oh yeah, unknown speed. Well within the limits. Oh, of course, yeah. Range, Talenti, 476. It's going to be close to this. This is going to be really close. Anyway, time for food. This is behind the scenes. I'll have to blur that bit out. To conclude the trip, the 350s are good on a long distance. Great GT cars, good on fuel, comfortable. Get out at the end of your destination and I don't feel like I need to stretch. I reckon overall we've done about 650 miles. You reckon Dan? Give it a take. We've noticed as well is obviously driving style and tyres make a difference to your fuel economy. Um, we don't know how accurate the computers are, but mine's always been higher MPG. But I think Dan is actually getting better fuel consumption. According to the computer, you're doing two MPG better than me overall during every day. Yeah. But then when we actually looked at how much fuel I've, we've actually used, I, I use less fuel. <laughs> we just had a potential hitchhike. No, nope, not happening. Um, 350s, great cruiser, great GT car, also great on a back road. Um, Edinburgh itself, great city. The cars don't like cobblestones, and there's a lot of cobblestones around Edinburgh, so avoid them. It's not great to drive in, that's for sure. It's not meant to be going around cities, it's meant to be getting sent around country lanes and up and down long carriageways like we well, did. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That, that's, that's a fair point, actually. So, yeah, that is it. That is the conclusion of our trip. I hope you enjoyed what we've made um, with our fuel economy challenge. <laughs> Who makes a fuel economy challenge in three and a half litres of E6? <laughs> but there we are. Well, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye bye.